that so welcome back students to preparations of alkanes so till now we have done a lot of topics in organic chemistry everything is kept in the playlist please watch that i did nomenclature i did hybridization i did structure of uh, uh, this one alkenes alkenes and alkynes now i'm coming into the main concept of the chapter that is your preparations so starting from here there will be a lot of reasoning questions which we'll be dealing with we'll be doing one after the other please note it carefully and i i uh, my request is please watch the previous videos for better understanding of the chapter done so whenever i speak about alkenes what is the general formula it is cn h2n plus 2 isn't it now we are going to prepare alkane using woods reaction so whenever uh, name reactions are given to you the lot of name reactions even in grade 12 almost 70 name reactions are there in grade 12 so what does examiner want you to write basically whenever you are writing a name name reaction means specifically with the name just normally if it is like addition substitution like that it is general reaction but here specifically if you have name reaction you need to write the definition of that as well as reaction conditions of that and find as usual you need to name the reactants and as well as the products done so when i have, whenever i have to speak about woods reaction first i'll write the reaction and then start writing the definition let's see so first for woods reaction what is important important thing is i require i'm writing the general formula then we will write the definition so for woods reaction to uh, happen i need just see i need a molecule called rx what is this this is called alkyl halide okay from where did i get this let me see this so alkyl halide just come back now this is the basic methane see alkane ch4 see this in this in suppose if i take out one hydrogen from this okay i am taking out one hydrogen from this and i am going to introduce a halogen to this then this becomes alkyl halide okay that i have taken the same thing instead of this whole r and x that's what i have taken now i have taken one here one more i am going to add on this side in between these two i am adding sodium metal he because two molecules are here i am adding sodium also that this whole reaction occurs in the presence of a reaction condition that is ether dry ether now what happens initially r x with sodium it comes out as 2 nax and what is left out this alkyl group and this alkyl group joins and forms rr rr is nothing but alkane now let us take an example and see how can we write this So instead of i alkyl group i'm going to take instead of this ch3 this x is x this sodium is 2 na this one is again x this is ch3 now let me tell you what is this x x is nothing but halogen here halogen can be either bromine or halogen can be iodine done so instead of this x let me write here iodine in this case let me write iodine done so now what happens there is a cleavage here when will this happen when you have dry ether present in the reaction then only done so what is the product this ch3 and this ch3 joins and forms a compound and what is left out 2 nai is formed now let us name the reactants and products i should name it isn't it now what is this i said alkyl halide now instead of alkyl what is this group this group let me erase this off this group is what methyl this is methyl halide is what iodide methyl iodide so both the cases methyl iodide now what is this this two carbon atom alkene it is called ethane isn't it one is methane one is ethane second is ethane that now i have written the reaction let me explain now how will i write the definition let me take out this whole thing and start writing the definition of its reaction seeing this nothing to remember nothing to by heart you can write it by yourself its reaction just see here start when alkyl halide right so two molecules of alkyl halide okay now when two molecules of alkyl halide let's write definition when two molecules of alkyl halide are treated with sodium are treated with sodium metal sodium metal what is the reaction condition in the presence of dry ether in the presence of 
dry ether to form what is it forming it's forming alkane with same number of carbon atoms see here there are two carbon atoms here here also two carbon atoms to form alkanes of same number of carbon atoms carbon atoms is called Oops reaction this is the definition definition over general reaction over example specific example also over now hope you have noted this this is also clear simplest reaction now we will learn why have I taken sodium why have I taken dry ether in the reaction yes let's erase this and start now basically whenever you have learned the reactivity series you have learned your reactivity series in grade 10 only isn't it so we have studied in that series of metals which have placed according to the reactivity sodium uh, you, you place sodium again potassium like that last would be your copper silver platinum like that isn't it done now when i have to speak about uh, sodium what is the role okay let us not write use let, let us write role role of sodium roots reaction basically i said sodium is a highly reactive metal so because of this reactivity we have taken not higher it is highly reactive metal done because of its reactivity i've picked up uh, i've taken that and used it we have used it in Oots reaction because it can easily take out halide from that now what is the role of dry ether done so here you should know one important concept what is the concept basically we have solvents with different types of solvents i've already made one flow chart also for you but here when we are speaking about dry ether what is the basic concept there are two types of solvents that is polar protic solvents and next one polar opposite is non-polar aprotic solvents okay right now what are polar protic solvents we will see first basically whenever i speak about let me number this is one number this is two so whenever i speak about polar protic basically solvents that means these are the solvents which have acidic hydrogen in them h plus ion very important so what is that they have acidic h plus now this acidic h plus should be attached to which uh, which atom it should either be attached to oxygen or it should be either attached to nitrogen like example if i take the basic water see here oxygen attached to nitrogen so it is a polar protic solvent next nitrogen attached to hydrogen because i said nitrogen hydrogen ammonia is a polar protic solvent next hf this also you can write because electronegative atom done next formic acid here what happened oxygen attached to hydrogen polar protic solvents so these are all polar protic solvents done next important thing you who should know what actually is non-polar aprotic solvents right the same thing again non-polar aprotic solvents are those which do not have acidic hydrogen here they have acidic hydrogen but here you're going to write do not have do not have acidic hydrogen acidic h plus like rmgx grignard's reagent i've done a flow chart for this already then your dry ether what is dry ether formula r o r here do are you finding in h plus no here it is directly attached to alkyl group such compounds are aprotic solvents non-polar now when i have to come back to dry ether which category it is coming it is coming under non-polar aprotic solvents so first important thing sodium highly reactive it will replace halides this being non-polar it will not allow means it will just easily take out it will not allow the further degradation or further movement of that alkane it's movement means it will give us the required alkane it will not further because it is non-polar it will not ionize anything it can easily take out the required product that is alkane for us so because of its non-polar aprotic uh, property that's the use of dry ether as well as sodium done so next important thing whenever you're learning wood's reaction what should you remember basically wood's reaction does not support 
the formation of uh, alkanes with odd number means odd number combination it will not allow what is the reason suppose basically i said ch3 uh, i plus 2 na plus i ch3 in the presence of dry ether simple i can easily get alkane like this ch3 ch3 and 2 na i i can easily get but suppose if i have an odd electron like this suppose c2h5 i and 2 na ch3 i now see here 2 plus 1 3 carbon atoms isn't it right such combinations are not basically supported or preferred by the product is not much preferred by wood's reaction what is the reason here what happens the difference in boiling point when i take the odd electron when i see the series the difference in boiling point is very very less when it is less for me separation of the required alkene will become very difficult so that's why wood's reaction will not prefer elements or the reactions with odd electron compounds so ruled out we can take on even number i can easily prepare so what's the reason because the difference in boiling point is very very less isolation will be very difficult isn't it that next important thing you have to remember methane molecule or methane cannot be prepared by prepared by wood's reaction why can't i prepare wood's reaction methane because for wood's reaction we require two molecules of alkyl halide so methane cannot be prepared by wood's reaction so students this is your wood's reaction starting from the definition general formula reaction uses of the rea uh, reaction means i have taught you what is the use of sodium metal what is the use of dry ether then i have taught you what is not preferred in wood's reaction